Hey, Will, good to see you. Hey, everybody. Hey, Julian, good to see you again. Hey, Esther, hey, Cliff. Nice to see you folks. Give everybody just a minute or two here. Can everybody hear me? Give me a, a one in the chat if you can hear me all right. Beautiful, beautiful. Me, I'm gonna share my screen. This is kind of a new thing for me, so hopefully I don't mess this up too bad. <laughs> Okay, cool. So we'll go ahead and get started here. So welcome to the first edition, first ever Rainmakers live weekly training. So this is the the reason that I'm doing this. And basically what this is, is I'm just going to teach on a concept in digital marketing every week at the same time. And it be fairly short sessions. I'm not going to keep you on here for a long time, but just teach something that's interesting, maybe something that I've learned or, or that I'm learning or something that's that's been very valuable to me. And uh, ultimately, the, the purpose is to help you to learn the skills that I've learned that have been have made a massive change in my life. So this may be for your own business. So maybe you have your own business that you want to use this for, or maybe it, it's for you just want to learn the skill set because it's a very valuable skill set. And even if you don't ever have your own business, if you can, if you can drive customers, if you can drive leads for other companies, then they will be very, very grateful to you because that is an extremely valuable thing to them. The, the biggest thing that most companies are looking for, like the biggest bottleneck for most companies is lack of leads. So if you can do that, if you can be the one who's driving the leads, then you can absolutely get paid very handsomely for that. And so I want to share that with you. And the reason kind of for my own sake that I wanna do this is that I'm building my own reputation, right? So I offer, I'm not gonna sell you anything on this on this session. I might in future sessions, but not on this one. But the reason that I wanna do this is so that you kind of know a little bit about who I am. And so for example, I help people to create YouTube ads, right? And so maybe if you happen upon a business owner that wants help with getting leads or wants help with running YouTube ads, well, maybe I'm going to be the first person that you that comes to your mind and you're going to refer me to your friend that needs help with that, right? So that's the idea here. So the um, the purpose, that that's the purpose. And so this is going to be just a weekly thing every Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern, 5.30 Central, 4.30 Mountain, 3.30 Pacific. And same place every time, same Zoom meeting. And if you go to dominatethemarketplace.net slash rainmakers, it'll link you to the same meeting. So you don't have to, like, I don't have to send you a reminder every week. You're going to just jot this down somewhere. If you want to put like a recurring meeting in your calendar, then you're going to know exactly where to go. Just include this website here. And then if you haven't already joined the Facebook, the Facebook group, facebook.com slash group slash Rainmakers Live, we'll do some, we'll do some stuff together, right? Like I'll show you how to build pages and I'll show you how to create ads and that kind of thing. And how to, we'll do some copywriting stuff too. I'll show you how to write ad scripts and VSL scripts and that sort of thing. And so every time I'm going to give you something for you to practice on your own. And the best way to practice is to write out your thing or create your thing and then share it in the Facebook group. And so we can all take a look at each other's to get inspiration, comment on each other's, and of course, networking, support, if you have any questions, um, might do some contests, special offers, et cetera. So join that if you haven't already. And um, it, it, by the way, before I continue, is there anybody, anybody here that doesn't use Facebook like anybody that get, is constantly getting put in Facebook jail because you post something politically incorrect. So I, I used to, that happened to me a bunch of times in the past. And then I finally, I just, they, they got me basically. I'm like, I, I need to use this for work. So I'm not going to get put in Facebook jail anymore. Um, but now, now I'm building an audience outside of Facebook so that I can say politically, 
politically incorrect things outside of Facebook. And Brad says not a Facebook user. Okay. Yeah, so I may I may create a Telegram group also for the same. It'll be just basically a copy of the Facebook group for anybody that doesn't want to use Facebook because um, I get it. I don't really like Facebook very much. Uh, anyway, but for now, this is brand new. All we got is a Facebook group and and I'll, I'll let you know if I create the Telegram group. Okay, and Edward says Telegram would be good. Cool, cool. And then last thing is I, I always like to hear your feedback. So every session that I do, I uh, will ask you to rate it at the end. So just dominate the dominate the marketplace.net slash feedback and just like let me know what you thought so that I can I can be better. Cool. So with that, I will go ahead and jump into it and feel free to tell me anything that you like in the chat. Feel free to ask any questions. And generally, I think I'll do a, a short Q&A session at the end. Again, this won't be a very long session because it's it's an every week thing. So I don't want to keep you for a really long time, but that is the plan. So before we get started, I got a question for everybody just to kind of get an idea of, of who my audience is here. And I know some of you guys, I recognize some of you guys, but give me a one in the chat if you already have an established business, like it's something that you're you're already running and it's not just a, a idea for a business, it's something that you already have. Give me a two if you have an idea for a business that you want to start, but you haven't actually run with it yet or you haven't actually finished building it yet. And give me a three in the chat if you don't really have a plan to have a business, you just wanna learn some skills that are gonna be valuable in the marketplace. Edward gave me a one and a two and a three. Okay. Or yeah, it could be you're keeping your options open. Like, okay, I have a business, but it's not the greatest business in the world. So I want to keep my options open as well. That's totally cool. Okay. So I see, I see ones and twos and threes. Cool. Very nice. So let's see. So this week I am going to show you the fastest way that I know to get leads for any business. So if you have a business, it could be getting leads for your business. If you don't have a business, then it could be getting leads for other people's businesses. And really getting leads for other people's businesses is itself a business, <laughs> right? You have a, a lead getting business, uh, unless you're working as a job, right? You can, and there are jobs where you just get leads. And actually, I think I saw Chris Arciaga on here. He could tell you all about that. Anyway, so let me open up a whiteboard here. And this is something that I've is pretty new to me. So I've seen other people use it, but I haven't really used it myself. Okay. So what I want to show you is a very simple lead getting funnel. Now, if you're not familiar with a funnel, a funnel is just a fancy name for a sales process. It's like the journey that people go through in, in um, what would you call it? In buying your product, right? So usually they'll they'll hear about you from somewhere and then they'll go read about something and then they'll book a call with you and then they'll become a customer, something like that. There's multiple steps to becoming a customer before they actually buy. And I'm seeing a bunch of names like floating around the whiteboard, which is weird. I wonder if I can get rid of that. Just a second. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'll just have to ignore it. Okay, so the, this is going to be a basic opt-in funnel or a, a lead funnel. So the way this works, pretty simple. You have step one is an ad. So you advertise to somebody and you advertise something that you're going to give them for free. And then you say, hey, click on my ad to get my free thing. 
Then you're going to go to step two, which is an opt-in page. This is a very simple web page that has a headline saying, sign up for my free thing. And then it has a form for them to put in their name and their email address and possibly their phone number if you want. And say, just give me your information and I'll send you the free thing. And then once they put in their information, they go to a second page, which is a lead magnet page. The lead magnet is the thing that you offered them for free. Now, this could be a, a wide variety of things, but the fact that you're offering it for free means that it's something that you can give to people without much cost to yourself. So it could be an ebook, it could be a template, it could be a PDF, it could be a video, it could be a mini course, it could be a calculator, it could be a free trial of a software. There are a whole bunch of things that you can use as a lead magnet, but generally it's something that is is somewhat valuable to the person that helps them with some challenge that they're dealing with or helps make their life better in some way, but that you can deliver to them for free. And the purpose of that is that the person, well, it, there's two purposes. One is that they give you their information, right? Now they've become a lead in order to get that lead magnet. And the lead magnet is something that attracts the type of lead that you're looking to get. So for example, let's say that you have a, a company that helps people repair their credit score. Well, you could have a lead magnet of the five secret ways that to repair your to increase your credit score that the banks don't know that don't want you to know about. For example, it's something I just pulled off the top of my head. It could be a calculator that says that will tell them how much every hundred dollars they spend on they pay off their credit cards will increase their credit score. Right. Something that you can offer for free that's valuable to them, that's valuable specifically to that type of person. And then from there, you have their email address. Now you can sell them your thing. Right. So now there's there's various ways to go to the sale from here. But generally, once you have the lead, you're going to try to sell them on whatever your paid thing is. So it got you the lead and it also builds your credibility. Right. So if the person is is using your calculator or they're reading your free training, they're reading your ebook, they're learning from you and they're getting an idea that you are the expert, you are the person who knows about this thing and they're getting to trust you, right? If you can give them valuable information that, that they weren't getting otherwise, then you become the, the source of truth to them and they see that you're a legitimate individual. You're not trying to rip them off or something. You're actually helping them. And then they're much more likely to buy from you in the future, which, by the way, is another reason that I'm doing these free sessions is, is for exactly that. Like I'm showing that I can that I have some expertise and that I'm trustworthy. So. Once you have the opt in, you can also you can reach out to them. Right, you can send emails. If you got their phone number, you can you can call them or you can text them. And the cool thing about this is that you can reach out to them basically as many times as you want. And, and you know, if as long as you're not being annoying, right? You want to send things that are relevant to their interest, right? If they opted in for something about how to repair their credit, then you send them emails about that give them tips for repairing their credit, for example. If you just spam them with garbage that's unrelated to what they opted in for, then they're they're not going to be interested, and they're probably going to like mark your your emails as spam, and that's not a good thing. So if you give them things that you're interested in that they are interested in, then the you are giving yourself an opportunity to sell to them over and over and over again, which a lot of people need, right? A lot of times people aren't going to buy from you on the very first contact. They need a little bit of warming up. They need a little bit of nurturing. So this is a super cool funnel. This is, this is very, very valuable if you can get this right. Now, let me show you kind of numerically what this looks like. And I'll show you also why we call this a funnel because it's shaped kind of like this and this is a very lopsided terrible looking funnel but <laughs> you have these are your, your steps so first of all you have an ad click 
So, and these are the steps that people go through. They first, they click on their ad, then they opt in. That is, they become a lead. And then final step, they buy. And your funnel may be more complicated than this. There might be more steps in between. Like for example, it, it depends on what kind of product you sell. So if you have, if you sell coffee, for example, then you don't need to warm them up a whole lot before they buy. If you're selling them a $6 cup of coffee, well, they, it's just, it's a kind of a snap decision. But if you're trying to sell them a new car, then they're gonna need a lot more warming up. So, you have you might have more steps in between right you might have they become a lead and then they book they fill out an application and then they have a phone call and then on the phone call they have the opportunity to buy but for our sake we're going to keep it simple we'll just have add click lead buy so let's say let's look at some numbers here so let's say of the people who click our ad that 20% end up becoming a lead, right? 20% are interested in enough in our free thing that they give us their name and their email address and say, yes, I'm interested. And then, and this is a pretty, pretty normal number, by the way. And then let's say of the people that become a lead, 5% end up buying your product. Well, Let's say, let's look at the, the profitability of this. So let's say the sale is worth 500 bucks. So, and let's say that an ad click, you spend $2 for an ad click, which again is pretty normal. And this could be on, on Facebook, it could be on YouTube, it could be on Google ads, it could be on Twitter ads. There are a whole bunch of different ad platforms that this could be on. And so I'm not going to get into the differences between them at, at this point. But so let's say you're spending $2 per click and then 20% of those clicks become leads. Then any of you math geniuses can figure out how, how much are you spending per lead? If it's $2 per ad click, 20%, that's one out of five are becoming a lead for every one lead, how much are you paying? $10, Edward wins, very nice. $10, exactly. So for every lead, you're paying $10, and this is in advertising costs, right? So you spend $2 per click, $10 per lead, and then same question with the, with the sale. How much are you paying per sale? If it's $10 a lead, one out of 20 actually buys, then how much are you paying per sale? I'll give you a hint. It's $10 divided by 5%. $200, Julian got it, very nice, $200. So, what you're doing essentially is you put $200 into the machine, you spend $200 in ads, you tell YouTube or Facebook or whatever, spend $200 and then you get $500 in return. That is a 2.5X 2. 2. return. So for every dollar that you spend, on average, you get two and a half dollars back. That, here is the point of advertising. Like this is why advertising and marketing is cool because you put some money in and you get 2.5 X that money back or whatever multiple it is based on your numbers over here. Does this make sense? Give me a, a one in the chat if this makes sense so far. If I'm losing anybody, if, if you got questions, feel free to ask. Awesome. So I got a bunch of ones. Very cool. So Okay, beautiful. And so what the I told you I would tell you the fastest way that I know to to get leads. 
So what I'm going to show you in the next few weeks, and I'm not going to get into it here because we're going to end up spending a lot of time, but I'm going to show you how to do Facebook ads. Now, it, a lot of people probably know me as I'm a YouTube ads guy. I prefer YouTube ads, which is true. But I didn't say I was going to show you the best way to get leads. I said I was going to show you the fastest. And Facebook ads are a lot easier and faster to set up than YouTube ads are. And they're kind of a good training ground. So if you've never run ads before, then Facebook ads are a good place to start because they're pretty simple and you don't have to record any videos in order to do them. So I'm going to show, and this is kind of a thing too, where it's like when you're learning to, when you're learning to play music, if you want to play, if you, let's say you want to play guitar, a lot of people say that if you want to learn music, whatever instrument it is, you should start by learning piano because if you, learn piano then you you it's the easiest way to understand music in general and therefore to pick up another instrument well facebook ads are kind of that way with advertising like if you understand facebook ads then it's going to be a lot easier for you to pick up something that's a little bit more sophisticated like youtube ads so that's what i'm going to start with and it's just kind of speed of implementation like you can get a, a facebook ad up and running faster than you can a youtube ad so even though it's not as good in my opinion it is faster and then with, uh, I'm going to show you how to create an opt-in page in a tool called Kartra, which you don't have to remember that now, but I'll show you how to do that. And I'll, I think I'll even create an opt-in page that you can copy. And then a, I'll show you how to, well, I'll, we'll go over how to create a lead magnet. And the way that we're going to go through this is actually backwards, by the way. Right. And, and because it has to be that way, because if I had you create an ad, well, where would you send that ad to? Like if somebody clicks on your ad, where's it going to go? You don't have an opt in page. Right. And if I have you create an opt in page, well, what is that opt in page going to promise the person? Well, you don't you don't have anything because you don't have a lead magnet. So I'm going to start. I'm going to I'm going to go backwards here. I'm going to start with lead magnet. So that's going to be next week's lesson is how to create a lead magnet that is interesting to your target prospect. And if you don't have a target prospect, if you don't have a business, we're just gonna just gonna use a hypothetical example. And then I'll show you how to create the opt-in page. And then finally, I'll show you how to create the Facebook ad. So that's the plan for the next few weeks. And so your homework, I'm gonna give you a little bit of homework because whenever, you know, whenever you listen to something, I mean, it's kind of easy to just go in one ear and out one in in one ear and out the other. So I, I like to give you just a little bit to do. So for this week, I'm gonna say in the Facebook group, I want you to tell me two things. Just make a post in the Facebook group. Tell me number one, what is your business? And if you don't have a business, or if, you, if you're considering a certain type of business, then write the business that you're considering. If you don't even have a business in mind, then just pick one. It's like one that you fantasized about having at one time, maybe. Like one time you're like, well, you know, I make good Chinese food. So maybe I open a Chinese restaurant. Like it really doesn't matter what business, but put a, a business that you're interested in. Actually, let me, I'll put one criteria on that. Something that is a little bit trust-based. So something where a lead magnet is going to make sense. Because you can't, I realize with a, a Chinese restaurant, you're probably not going to have a lead magnet that's <laughs> that people would want to download for a, a Chinese restaurant. But if you have, let's say, a weight loss company, or you have credit consulting, or you have financial financial analysis or bookkeeping um or or even if you have like a law firm anything that's that's a little bit based on expertise let's say come up with a business like that if you don't have one already and then write that in the facebook group and then the second thing is the biggest problem your business solves Right. So what it, I mean, if you're a Chinese restaurant, probably the biggest problem your business solves is that your customer is hungry. 
If you're a coffee shop, maybe it's that they don't have enough energy or they're bored. Or if it's a law firm, the problem is that they're, they risk, run the risk of getting sued or they run the risk of, of getting in trouble with the government, something like that. Like, what is the, the number one biggest problem that your business solves? Because that's going to inform what we do in the next lesson for the lead magnet here. So, oh, and Julian, I see your comment about the Facebook group. Let me let me link to that real quick. Everybody got the two the two items for the homework here. I'm going to switch screens here. Give you just a second here. Okay. And oh, good idea. Post in chat. Uh -huh. Two biggest businesses. Okay, perfect. And then let me get rid of this and share my screen. Okay. And so, yeah, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. The Facebook group is facebook.com slash group slash Rainmakers Live. I'll write that in the chat too, just so you have it handy. And, oh, I sent this as a private message. I gotta redo that. Okay. So that's it for today. If anybody has any questions, please let me know. Please go ahead and put in the chat. And meanwhile, I would appreciate if you would Give me a rating on this session. Just let me know what you thought. And and if you have any any suggestions on where to go from here and what to do better. This is you know, it's a little bit rough because it's the first one, but they, they will get better. You're very welcome, Brad. Thank you. And I appreciate all you guys for being here. Thank you, Melissa. Thanks, Julian. Thanks, Edward. <laughs> Thanks, Kristen. No worries. Thanks, Lu Luay. Sorry if I mispronounced your name. Thanks, Hilario. Thanks, Will. Thanks, Farouk. And okay, I don't see any questions here. So I guess I will go ahead and finish up and hope to see you next week. Same place, same time. And have a great week. Bye, guys.